Hey guys, welcome back to LEGO Harry Potter, yes, 5 to 7. Now we're going to do Sword and Locket, I think the level's called. It's with, uh, when Harry is at the, uh, lake, um, and Ron shows up to destroy the locket for Harry. It's actually pretty cool, this one. I mean, it doesn't show Harry and Marty naked, but... <laughs> Obvious. <laughs> oh my god. I was really shocked when I saw that move at the cinema. I was not even expecting it. Is her and Harry just making out? <laughs> Lockett was showing all of... Uh, on spheres. Hmm. Although this part is weird. <laughs> takes off his legs. <laughs> now Ron just, just randomly there. Oh, only Ron would fall in the water like that. Sets to bloody blue moss when you don't even need it to see. Oh yeah, and those uh, squids, I mean not squids, uh, jellyfish, the uh, crispies I think. I don't think it's a character. Oh, it's a snail. Man, or was it? It's 49,000 I think it was. Really good for studs. Oh, this 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 part's really annoying. It's goes for way too fucking long animation. Issues with uh, Shadow Play again. So like, I don't know. My computer's just. I don't know if it's the computer or the programs, but it's just weird. Like usually, uh, like OBS just completely breaks on my computer, so I switch to Shadow Play, and then eventually it up the breaking, and then I go back to OBS and it works fine. It's even recording some video that uh. Uh, Chamber of Secrets video that was fucked on my uh, is recording with Shadow Play. That was it was completely fine in 4K. It wasn't even lagging or anything while I was recording. So I I don't know what the hell was going on, why it wouldn't record in 4K. Last time I tried using it, now it's just completely fine. I don't know, maybe they fixed it or something. I don't know. little glitch there. Uh, I don't think there are any... No, I don't think there are any octopuses. A jellyfish, fuck! I don't know why I keep getting that wrong. I don't think that uh, comes back. Yeah, this is pretty much just a recycled uh, second task. Um, Mechanics. Come on. Oh, okay. Never mind. I have to switch to run. Now there's the next uh, jellyfish. Stop it, Ron! Oh my god, get out of the damn way! I need to get this rock. Jesus Christ. Hell? 
Why isn't this working? Yeah. Are you serious? 2D is terrible in playing Lego. Lego. It's that stupid, annoying crap that happens with studs. can get this one in single player. Let's go get the uh, object. I think it's... Oh, there it is. The last octopus right there. Nelly, Nelly missed it. Oh, poor skeleton. Way to die. Nelly forgot this. Nelly forgot it. Because, yeah, we're just gonna end. It's ending in like a minute. So I remember that I didn't get a uh, bloody. the last uh, octopus. So usually you bang that on the purple parts, but if you go over here, you bang this to get the character. Harry Lockett. Now you just do the main part of the story. Here we go, we got the Sword of Gryffindor. talk but that is really not a good job at um doing the parcel tongue how they uh, screwed it up in the movies. Made it uh, the actual uh, no, a raven was a crow, I think. In the books. Someone pointed that out. The oh, well, What's his name? Who did I watch that... Uh, Except for G1993. He did a... Uh, a few of the Harry Potter games, which he, he was one of the YouTubers that uh, gave me the idea of uh, actually starting my own channel. He hasn't uploaded in years though, so I don't know what happened to him. He was you know, a pretty good uh, uploader and yeah. And the one that uh, got me 
to realise and the, like, about the differences between the books and everything in the movies was a uh, uh, oh, character, Ron Underwear. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the channel is uh, Movie Flying Productions. He does a really good job at uh, doing all that. He made videos of uh, all every single difference between the books and the movies, which was really good. Really interesting, and that uh, stuff that was cut from the movies. And there's also uh, Harry Potter Folklore, I think was his name. He's, he started a, uh, a little fan um, mini series, I think he said it was, based on uh, when, Harry, when Voldemort. Well, Tom Riddle was a child at the orphanage. There's been a lot of great uh, fan movies and stuff. And Warner Bros. has actually been really good with a uh, really nice and support help support the uh, of the fan movies. Actually, letting people do that, which a lot of companies refuse. The best one was a uh, uh, I don't know. I watched um uh watched that Voldemort child one um uh, I can't remember the exact name but they tried to they were doing a uh, Kickstarter campaign for the movie but um, Warner Bros didn't want them to do that so they decided to con they worked out a deal. Like, it, they were able to do the movie, but they agreed to only put it on uh, YouTube for free. And it was about uh, Voldemort coming to power, creating the Horcruxes and all that, and they actually had him with his uh, red eyes, which was really cool. And there was another one, um, it was when it's based around... Uh, Severus uh, fighting with the Marauders, and uh, Severus using Septim Sempra and I think James, because they were picking a fight with him and yeah, bullying him like they used to at school. So Snape decided to defend himself with the spell he created. And the last one I saw was a. Uh, one with uh, Frank and Alice Longbottom being tortured into insanity by Bellatrix, Rodolphus, and Rodolphus's brother, and, I th and Barty Crouch Jr. He was there. I uh, can't. Don't think you can get up. Oh no, you can't get up there yet. So yeah, that <laughs> there've been a lot of really good uh, fan-made movies. I haven't seen, there's probably a lot more that I haven't seen yet, but they're the ones that I think Movie Flame pointed out to me. They made videos about um, a few of them. Which is pretty... Okay, Ronnie's not the right person for that. Because he can't use Lumos anymore. So yeah, if you like uh, Harry Potter stuff, go to Movie Flame or and Harry Potter Folklore. They're really good with that type of stuff. They know a lot more than I do. They the, pretty much taught me how to get all the differences between the books and movies. So yeah, subscribe to them and watch all their videos. They're really, really good and interesting.
How oh, convenient that <laughs> parts of tongue thing is there. Yeah, this is when you use a uh, parry for the defend that attack the stuff that it brings to you, and then you have to switch to Ron to slice at the locket. And since this is Lego, you have to do it, I think, four times a three. So you just have to keep switching between the characters. And yeah, Ron, Ron can't use spells during this, so yeah, to be Harry, to attack the spiders and everything. Switching bloody Lumos. Yep. There's Harry and Hermione. They're supposed to be naked. I think they are. Since it's just like, oh, you can never tell. You can't tell. I think they they're laughing at. Um, yeah, laughing at Ron. Ron's being getting very depressed. What you got to do is use this fan to uh, blow the whirlwinds. And, and blow uh, Harry and Hermione um, back into the locket. And we're done! Pretty short level. Huh? Hey! <laughs> On Harry fainted. <laughs> it's funny how uh, these the Lego version of Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2 are so much better than the actual games we got. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to Deathly Hallows Part 1. That was... Uh... Yeah, I... It was that bad I couldn't <laughs> bear to finish it. <laughs> I didn't enjoy part two, but yeah, it was still not as good as the others. Mm -hmm. But it was way better than part one. Uh. Look, we destroyed a Horcrux! Damn! Uh. <laughs> what the fuck, yeah. Harry? This uh. fucking. <laughs> Oh yeah, now we're in the part that's not covered in snow. Do this thing real quick, and then end the part, and then start the next level. I think this is this. Yeah, this, I think this is the fifth level. I feel it's part one. And a character, Xenophilius Lovegood. Yeah, we'll get to do part two very soon. Since I'm doing this, well, I was able to do it really early tonight. I'll be able to. Oh, I can do more than two parts today. So you have a lot of lot to watch. Uh oh, shit, I nearly, I got, nearly forgot to end the part. All right, see ya.